Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. Woo! Okay, so tonight we're going to be coloring these and that. Embrace each moment. It's really a nice set. And you know I like coloring, so... So what I'm going to do, and don't forget, do that. And if you're on watching me later on YouTube, please subscribe. Okay, now we'll get down to the nitty gritty. So what I'm going to do a little different than I normally do is I'm going to do all the coloring. So I'm going to stamp one of them I already have stamped. So I'm going to do all the coloring and then put the cards together. So that one I've got stamped already. So of course you can see I use the ovals and the squares, the stitched, um, yeah I use that a couple times, the stitch set, skit, skit, I can't say it, stitch shapes. Can anybody say that three times fast? Mm -hmm. I know I can't. So let's get this one stamped. And I'm going to pull the colors as I need them. Which probably means I don't remember what I used. Okay, do we have a good image? No. Good thing I did too. I'm going to stand up this time. It only happens on on television here. Okay, ready? I don't want to have to cut another one. There's a little hair that got in there. We'll adjust. Okay, let's get this one. And that's going to go right there. Not bad. Not perfect, but not bad. Okay. So I'm going to let these kind of dry. And we'll do this one first. Let's see what's on that side. Just a little ink. Okay. So... Of course, I'm going to my illustrators, and I always use the same three colors. And I don't know if anybody's watching. Hi, Maxine. Um, hi, Tony, Sherry, Gina, if anybody uses illustrators, but it's uh, pale tan, sandstone, and ivory. So I always go with my darkest color first. So we're going to do these hands, and these are fairly fast, and go wherever there would be shadows. So wherever you're going to get the, you know, the darkest. There's going to be a little bit there, and a little bit there. And then the mid-tone, whoops, so we're going to pull that out, I just like re-ink these so they are really, really juicy. At least these three colors. Okay, and then we're going to take the lightest color, which is ivory, and then go over everything, and that's what blends it all together. So if you were using the blends, 
I would say use, I'm looking over at it, um, crumb cake. I'd still use three. Crumb cake, maybe some light soft suede, and the blender to lighten it all up. I forget what I used to use when I was really using them. Okay, so this one is done. Okay, so we'll pull in that one. So I'm going to start with their face. And I forgot that I could get closer. Yeah, because I'm using my phone. So it's clearer. I am going to test the new computer. Next week they come to finish our windows. And um, I have to move everything around again. So when they do, then I'm going to move my desk around. Because I put my new computer in here. And it's to the side of me. And that kills my neck. So I'm going to put it in front. Which means I have to move my markers. And yeah, it's going to be a job. But... I only want to do it once. So then I'll try the other program again on the new computer and hopefully there's like more power. So here under the chin and then this is all skin which the first time I don't know I wasn't like thinking when I was first coloring it and I was like what like what's what but this is all skin here and her little straps okay so that's the dark color got his hands and like I say when you miss something you can always go back so you go over the dark one and blend it in a little bit and what oops I forgot to do her nose so what I like to do is like where the nose is just put a little bit to the side and I'm gonna do a little bit there and then you'll be able to see at the end that she really has a nose so you blend that out with the mid-tone And again, go over everything, and I'm just leaving some spots. And like I said before, I, I don't really know, like, the light thing, so don't let that worry you when, you know, when you're, I just know certain things, places are going to be darker. But don't worry, like, really where the light's coming from because it all comes out. Okay, and then the lightest one. I always grab the wrong end. So that's where you go over everything. And it always looks darker until you get the rest of the colors So now when I go over her nose and blend that out, you see how you can really see that she has a nose? Okay, I think I got it all. All right, so we're gonna make her a blonde. Um, so I'm using golden yellow, gold, and mimosa. So 
so start by the roots and then on her because it's sketchy I just kind of brought out like the dark where the artist put the lines then with the mid color which is gold I go over those and then draw in a few next to it and then I'm going to put the lightest shade in so with the lightest shade you kind of go a little bit faster just filling in but still going over everything, at least on the hair. Okay, so we have her as a blonde. Now we're gonna do him a little darker. So I'll take chestnut, mocha, and soft brown. So you want to kind of follow how the hair is going. And this is the mid-tone. lightest one okay so we'll do her dress mm. So we're going to go with dark coral, vermilion, and spice. And there's really not a lot to do on her. There's the hair. Where is she? I have to look at my other one, how I did it. Let's see if I brought it out from there. Oh, I just messed up all the cards. Oh yeah, I did do that. Okay. So, I think what I didn't do was stamp part of her dress, and that's what was confusing me. All right, so that was CR9, so CR8. And CR7. They're so cute. Okay, and then we're gonna do him blue. So I have cobalt, true blue, and denim. So where his like crinkles are gonna be. And a shadow under his arm.
and there'll be a shadow by her dress. And then in here, we're only going to fit two colors because I'm not that good yet. <laughs> All right. So we've got the true blue. So wherever the, oh, I will fit. I'm going to fit a third color in there. So I'm going over where I was. I'm pulling that out. I might come back with more dark in here. I'll try not to move this as much, but it's hard not to. Okay, and then we're going to come in with the lightest color and go over everything and this is the one I don't have a refill for and it's definitely getting to where it needs it do it marker and then that little spot there and over the rest to blend it in so I'm going to come back a little bit with the dark like in the corners here And again, like where the wrinkles. Mm, he's got one there too. So just blending them out just a little bit. And sometimes I go over everything like totally twice. Did I just do the light one? I did. Well, I'm going to stick with that one then. And just blend it out a little better. Oh, my finger just... Ah! Trigger finger. Shoot. Okay. So they are done. I'm going to put that to the side. And we're going to do this one. Alright, so we're going back to the face tones. And do the same thing here. Go around his nose, down by her hair. We're going to put in the lines for her schnoz. We'll give him a little bit too. A little bit of a shadow there. fingers a 
by his sleeve, by her arm, and this black is bleeding. Not happy about that. Okay, mid-tone, uh, sandstone. So what happened was a few weeks ago I refilled my ink pad with the wrong ink so it bleeds so I have to suck a bunch out of it and then refill it with the right and I keep forgetting to do that all right so you got to blend that out with the mid-tone and then we're going to come back with the lightest one and go over everything without spreading the black So I'm trying to be very, very careful. And I'm going to give her a little cheeks. I forgot to do the other one. But... We're going to give her just a little bit. And then you take, when you do that, then you take your lightest color again and just blend out the edges. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Got part of his finger. Oh, I hear the thunder now. It's a rumbling. Okay, so we're going to make her blonde because it's here. So start with the darkest one and we're going to do the same thing. Same way we did the other one, just following some of her, her lines. And then, oh, that was the lightest one. All right, so we're going to bring in some of this. Oh, that's her hair, too, I think. Where's my other card? Okay, and then the lightest one again. Sometimes you, you really don't know when you just you just go with what you think. But 
I'm not even sure. Okay, so his hair, we're going to do a different brown. So I'm going to do some umber for the dark. Oh, and I forgot his ear. Let's just do it in the darkest. That's actually the lightest. It'll work. Um, that was hazelnut. Before, yep. Okay, so this one is hazelnut. This was the second one. And I'm like doing a little bit of like flicking so it's not even. And then filling in with the light. And her hair goes out. Okay. So there's a little bit more of his skin. That's the ivory. Let me do that mid-tone color. Like right in here, under the neck, under the chin. And then the rest of him is going to be... Well, he's... Oh, I didn't do his hand. Ugh. Okay. Pale tan. Here we go. How'd I miss that? So you're going to have some dark on the knuckle. Or maybe the knuckle's supposed to be lighter. I don't know. See? Like... It really doesn't matter. And then the lightest, which is the ivory. And go over everything. All right. So now we can do his, his shirt. So I'm using what they call Old China, um, Old China Vintage Blue and Smoky Blue, and it's kind of a like a bluish green. So again, I'm going to go where the lines are. And try not to hit her. I think that's her, that's her, and that's her down there. This is him. And his sleeve. Okay, so then the next one is Vintage Blue. What? She doesn't read the comments as detracts from coloring. Ooh. Who, what did I miss? We keep telling you. Oops. Out of frame, kinda? I'm sorry. Um, oh, thanks, Nicole. 
What else did I miss? He's wearing a glove. No, he's not. <laughs> All right. Am I in frame? I hope I'm in frame. Okay, so we're going to go... I get like all into it and I, I forget to look, girls. I'm sorry. Whoops, I almost colored a dress. I think I kind of did color her dress. You got me all fadduddled. It's okay. I can handle it. I can fix it. Not. Okay. So now we're going to do the lightest one. Now my comments are stuck. Ah, oh, good now. Hi, Sybil. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Mercy. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go over everything. I swear, well, well, if that's hair, it's not now. That's in between her fingers is him. So I'm using like the very, the very tip and being like very, very gentle. And it's sketchy, so you don't really have to be perfect. Okay. Um... That's him, too. That's going to be light there. Just because. Because, because. Look at that. I keep trying to put it away. And keep finding more spots. Alright, so. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. I'm going to start out with nope i'm not using any of those i'm gonna do starfish coral and salmon and this is gonna go fast oh look at that mm-hmm Starfish, six, five, and four, which is the five, five. See where I went in? That just looks like a shadow now. See, told you I'd fix it. Okay, now the lightest one. Go over everything. Okay. Now we're going to put cards together. Yes, we are. So I'm just going to shove all this to the side. Save time from putting it all away. All right. So. 
This is from, yeah, Sue, you got your catalog? Like, say the name of it. It's like all the wood. I just renamed it. It's all the wood, that side. Okay, and then this from Many Blossoms, Many Layered Blossoms. But look what I have here. Many Aired Blossoms. I think I have a typo there. All right, so this is going to go on that, uh, that way. And I don't think I'm going to worry about the ones that are there. I'm not. So upside down, and I don't have my sponge, so I'm just going to grab one that I've never used, because who knows where they are. Hey, at least I had my other thing here. That's pretty good of me. Yeah, I need more glue than that. That's a new sponge. It's supposed to be for Mossy. This is what you call fake it till you make it. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, that works for me. So, oh, goodness. I think with glue it would stick to me. Yeah, that's the way I wanted it. Okay, so we got that. We're just going to glue that right down to the paper. You don't? You're on the lanai. You're in the rain? In good taste. Thank you, thank you. You're not good for anything now, Sue. Sit. When you watch me, you're supposed to have your catalog right there. Supposed to be my partner in crime, you know? Did the hummingbirds return? No. Just the ants and the bees. <laughs> But I will keep trying. So this, I like went around with my finger. And that is because um, I cut this out on the scan and cut. And my circle, I mean my oval, was not exactly straight. And I could have gotten away with it. I could have. But I decided to rough it up and give it a little bit more texture. Timber. Look how perfect she matches. I love her nose. She had a good doctor. Okay, so did I pop that up? I think I did. Look, now I can lose them all at once instead of one at a time. Pretty smart of me, huh? <laughs> no. I think that's pretty good. I even got one of these handy. I don't know what I'm going to do when I move this desk around. But I know somebody better come over and help me, Sue. Next Friday. Oh, no, you, you go live on Fridays. Okay, so we've got that. And then on this one... I wanted it to say always and forever, so I actually cut it out of, um, I printed it out from the computer. 
because I just couldn't make, I was doing this one. And I mean, it's okay, but I didn't really want Embrace Every Moment. I want more of Always and Forever. So you always have the option, if you have a printer, to do your own. Be creative. Okay, and that I did flat. So that's card number one. There we go. What you think? I'll bring it back in a minute. Okay, card number two. Um, let's see. I need that and that. And I guess I didn't bring a white piece out. So, did I just do that backwards? Yeah, probably. Okay. Come on, meet even. Meet even. Yeah, because who knows where the other thing is. I could use the, one of these. Okay, so we're going to take, oh, things are falling. Isn't it sad to cover that up? But I wanted it more on the plain side, because you know me with my black and white and grays. Okay, so that's going to go onto the card base. Like so. And squiggle it around. Okay. We got an L. We have an E, we have an O, we have a V. I think that's backwards. Yeah, it is. Bug! Those little gnats. It's a dead gnat now. Okay, and then I cut this out of painted labels. So we're going to attach that, and this one was out of Stitch Shapes, I just put it on backwards. That's the right side. Well, I needed glue on it anyway. Let's put a little bit more. All right, so that's going to go there. And then we'll put these down. Am I out of camera? No. Now, if I knew where my tweezer was. And then I'll show you, I did this one and the first one a little different. Oh, I know what I did too. Where's my little ruler? It's buried. All right, I have another one somewhere over here. It's just bigger. So what I did to make sure that they were straight is lined it up on the grid like that. Come on, stay there. And if you're like um, kind of a tard like I am, the best thing to do really is to put some tape or something. But I live dangerously. And that is way too much glue for that. Okay, so we got the O. 
I'll be picking glue out of there. Oh, la di da. I mean, it looks straight until I find out that my ruler moved, right? Well, some of us just do the best we can. <laughs> oh, there's glue all over the place. Good thing this stuff dries clear, but I, you can get in there with the little eraser. And I think everything kind of moved, so I'm going to just... Yeah, it, it moved. But it's good enough. I mean, heck. Okay, and then, like, I'll add a few little diamonds to it, but I didn't pull them out either. Ah, sorry. Okay, last one. Oh, goodness, Gail. All right, stitch shapes. Again. No, this is from Squares. Squ yeah, layered squares. This is too many names to remember. It's like when you have more than two kids and you can't remember their names. Like, my mother used to call me Michael. Like, really, Mom? Really? No! I don't want the glue on that yet. Okay. And I'll show you why. Because we get a ribbon. Okay, cheat ribbon. Remember how to do it? If you don't, I'm going to show you. Take something round. You're going to tie a knot. Right over left, left over right. And you kind of twist when you do the knot so your ugly side is in the back. See that knot? That's the ugly side. Kind of looks like a figure eight or something. Okay, then you can cut this off. Then you're going to take this and cut that at an angle. And pull. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to do this. We're going to put this on this way because you have to know where everything's going. Like if you tie it on your paper, then you have the option of sliding it around. But if you do it like this, there ain't no sliding. It's got to be where it's going to be. Okay. So we're going to take a glue dot. On that ugly side, because we want that covered. And we're going to put it right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, then we're going to put a glue dot on each one of these, like that, and like that. And we're going to flip that sucker over, and put them down, like that. So now they're about even. Okay, I can get rid of that. Well, I'll set that down there for a second because we still have to stamp that. How do I have a mess here again? Oh. Hey, at least it's messy at the end and it wasn't like the whole time. So we're going to stamp. Have I told you lately that I love you? Mush. Ah. Oh. 
Next thing you know, my husband will come running in here and just sweep me off my feet and kiss me. <laughs> I don't think so. He yelled at me today, but then he laughed later because I was outside talking on the phone to Sue and I let both dogs out, but I only brought one back in. <laughs> so he went out to the lanai and he goes, you left the dog outside. <laughs> oh, I was like, okay. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so we can glue this. Like, I'm on the phone. Sue goes, oops. I said he yelled at me. Maybe he wasn't really yelling. He was talking loud so I would hear him. <laughs> Poor dog. I love my gizzy. Okay. And then we're just going to put this down. Oh, uh, oh, comments. Oh, yeah. There we go. I just peeked. Nobody said anything that I could see. <laughs> okay. So. Let's just like clear all this stuff away. Oh, I'll show you the difference between these two. Because you know, with the paper share, I only had like one of each, so I changed it. But this one, and, and I don't know which one I like better, to tell you the truth. This one, I cut the thing out in white and did a black backing, and this one I did like opposite. So, and the this one is just one layer of the letters and this is three so it it's bolder bolder which one do you like better Ooh, i don't know love that stamp set thank you barb okay so let me bring back all these things so that was like number one and number two because i had to use different paper i am really in love with this really but I only had a six by six piece. <laughs> okay. And then this was the original and the other ones on the floor. So I did them just a little bit different. Just a little, not much. Okay. So let's put them, let's put them where we can see them. So which one did you like better? The the black or the white? That's very important for me to know. I hope that's in frame. Because lately it hasn't. The one with the white on the black. This one. That one. Thank you so much, everybody. Hi, Becky. So, anyway, these were the cards for tonight. And um, I thank everybody for being here. It's really, a, really a pretty set for wedding cards, anniversary cards. Um, yeah. Give one to your boyfriend cards. Honey, ask the question. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I will be back on Wednesday with you know my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. So I'll see you all then. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Have a good night.